Hey boys and girls, the Junk Man here, coming from uh, Tampa Bay, uh, not Tampa Bay, Tampa, Florida. And uh, a brother in his garage productions is on the road this weekend. And uh, I've got some scratches that I'm going to take care of real quick in this beautiful Lamborghini. So I'm going to bring you in close and let you see the scratches. Then I'm going to let you see me take them out. So check it out. Okay, boys and girls, we're up close here. And I'm going to show you the first scratch, which is located right here. And I'm hoping that translates very well in the video. Uh, and then I've got a second scratch that's down here that's quite long. There they are right there. You can see that one. You see that? Because I can see that in the viewfinder. So I know you all can see that one. Go back up here and take another look at this one here again. Um... That one's a little trickier to see, but, oh, there it is. Dead center of the picture, right there. That's the puppy we're going to take care of. So I'm going to put you back on the tripod, and uh, we're going to see what it takes to get rid of those scratches. They're not very deep. They're, uh, I can't catch them on my fingernail, so they're going to be relatively easy to remove. So here we go. All right, boys and girls, what I'm going to use, those scratches are not too bad. So what I am going to use is some... Um, 3,000 grit sandpaper. All right, that is probably all that I'm going to need to take care of those scratches. So I am going to wrap my sandpaper up. You all can't see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna wrap it up in a sanding block. All right, that is a foam sanding block. It is very important. You never use sandpaper by itself without the sanding block. All right, another thing, never try this at home, okay? If you do, make sure it's something like a $2,000 hoopty. Okay. All right. So here's my two areas that I'm going to be working. Scratch one is here. Scratch two is here. I'm going to give at it. So here we go. Uh, when, I, when I wet sand, I always do it in one direction uh, per sandpaper. So if I was going to use a, a, another sandpaper at uh, going a different direction, but since I'm only using one sandpaper, I'm going to go in one direction. And as I start sanding, and you see this white milky stuff? If you can see that, that's clear coat coming off the car. Okay? Now, I can already tell that I may have to get more aggressive. I'm going to see. I'm going to work on this for a minute here. Uh, yeah, I might want to get more aggressive. But that's the thing about it. I can start light and step it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step it up to 2,500 grit. All right. So here we go. I'm going to break it up to 2,500 grit. Of course, wrap it around my sanding block. Again, y'all can't see what I'm doing. You know, this is a brother in his garage. or well, it was a brother in Tampa production right now. So you know how we roll. So here I go with 2,500 grit. that scratch and now I'm gonna grab me a blue towel I should say uh, I should say Big Dave from Horse Cave is gonna grab me one there we go thank you sir and uh, I'm wiping that off to see what it looks like to see if I can still see the scratch I can see it there just a little so I'm gonna work it a little bit more here and I'm not using a paint thickness gauge which is uh, very dangerous to do it this way. Big Dave just passed out. <laughs> uh, but uh, I know my limitations. Man's got to know it. You know how Clint Eastwood used to always say that. Man's got to know his limitations. So, okay, that scratch is uh, almost gone. Almost gone. I'll work on it a little bit more. This is, this is real-time production here. I'm not going to do a whole lot of editing. Notice I, I sand a bit, wipe it away, and take a look at it. Sand a bit, wipe it away, and take a look at it. All right, and I'm not going for perfection. I'm going for so that this scratch, you'd have to look for it hard to see it again. All right, so... That's what I'm going for. I'm working on the second one now. 
not really much to it. And I'm going to bring you all in here close so that you can see what it looks like when I'm done with the wet sanding part. So that you can see how much of the scratch remains. All right. So working on that second scratch there. That's just about gone. Just about gone there. And then it's, it's got a little length to it here. So I'm going to take care of some of that length. Notice I'm going in one direction. I'm not going in 50 million different directions. As I change sandpapers, I'll go in a different direction with the, with the next sandpaper. All right. So there I go. Take care of some of that length. Okay. All right. So that second scratch is gone. And I'm still looking at this first one up here. I want to hit it one more time. Just one more time. And that's what I'm doing right here. Alrighty. And now, I am done with that sandpaper. So now, that was 2500 grit. And uh, I am now moving back to my 3000 grit. All right, 3000 grit. Put my sanding block in here. Remember, you have to use a sanding block. You can't do this without a sanding block. Okay. So now, I've went in one direction. Get my head up here where you can see. <laughs> I went in one direction with the 2500. Now I'm going to go in a separate direction with the 3000. And the reason I do that is so that I can see the two different sandpapers that I've used. If I still see up scratches where I was going with the 2500, then I know I need to cut that some more with the 3000. So when I'm done, all the scratches should be going this way now, because that's the direction that I'm about to go in. So here I go. You stand up here. Alrighty. And again, the reason that you use sandpaper and step down the damage is because the sandpaper that you start with, you follow it with a lesser grit because it steps the damage down that the first paper that you use does. So here we go. We're stepping that damage down. Alrighty. Wipe that away. I'm inspecting it. I'm going to hit it one more time. There we go. Now, I'm going to bring you all in here and let you see what it looks like now. And you know, brother in this garage production, we do everything real time. So that means I'm using a nice tripod this time. I can get the camera off of it. <laughs> Actually easy. Okay, here we go. Here is where I just wet sanded. There's the area. Let me bring you in close. Let you see where the scratches were. And as you can see, there is no more scratch there. All right, and then this one that was right here, bring you in close. There's no more scratch there either. All right, all right. Okay. As you can see, no more scratch. Got you in there close. Brother, this garage production. You know, we do it up, up tight, real time. No smoke and mirrors. All right. Let me bring you back, give you a far shot so you can see how much of the paint's messed up now. All right, okay. So let me get you back on the tripod. And again, I'm using a pretty nice tripod here. So uh makes it pretty easy. Now, put my lens around here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, now what I'm about to do is break out my polishes and uh, fix this damage. Now I'm actually, I'm going to use the flex because I've, I've got a lot of videos of me using the PC. You all know how to use the PC by now if you've watched my videos. This time I'm going to use the flex to go ahead and fix this damage. 
Uh, I'm going to be using two different polishes. I'm going to be using some Adams Swirl and Haze Remover and some Adams Fine Machine Polish to fix this damage. And you'll get to see it in real time. So let me go get my equipment and I'll be right back to the tape. Okay, boys and girls, I'm breaking out the Flex 3401 VRG, which is a sweet little machine. Um, I could also do this with the PC, but I have a lot of videos of me using the PC. You all seen those, so a lot of people want me to use the Flex, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Flex. It's going to make the job a, a whole lot quicker, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, uh, I'm using a uh, Adams Flat Surface Pad here. It's uh, specially made. The, the hex pads tend to walk a lot. They make this machine walk a lot harder to control. So this, this flat surface pad right here uh, sir, uh, solves that issue. Now, this is a brand new pad. I've never used it before. So what I have to do is I have to prime this pad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a amount of polish, a thin line in a circle, about that much right there. And then I'm going to shoot a little detail spray on this. Now I'm working outdoors, which temperature outdoors, this affects what I do. So sometimes I have to lubricate the pad up more with detail spray. All right. So uh, that's what I just did. I shot it with a little detail spray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this around. And what I'm doing again, it's called priming the pad. I'm uh, setting up the pad so that it's ready to accept polish. Now I'm going to be working on a speed of five, let me flip this over where y'all can see it. Speed of five, okay? That's as, that's as high up as I need to go with this machine. It's as high up as I ever work, okay? So now, I'm gonna spread my polish around. I'm gonna uh, pulse the trigger. Okay, that spread my polish around to where I want it. Uh, and now I'm gonna actually go ahead and start working this area. I'm using very little pressure. I'm letting the polisher do all the work. Here I go. Notice I stopped the machine on the car. I don't pull the machine away. Now, I'm gonna grab me a white towel and wipe that polish off. I did not, if, if you, you can see where there's still polish, I didn't uh, wipe this or work this as long as I normally would because I didn't feel that I needed to. So, I'm now gonna wipe this away and take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to bring you all in and let you see what it looks like. Again, brother in Tampa Bay, well I'll keep wanting to go to Tampa Bay, I, a brother in Tampa production here, let's just bring you in here close, let you see what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, the scratch is gone. Now both scratches are gone. You can no longer see the scratches. Now look up here. See this little dull area there? I need to work that some more. So I'm going to put you all back on the, whoops. Focus, focus. <laughs> I had my finger on the zoom button. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm going to work this area right here some more. You can see where it's dull. All right. Okay. And, uh, but you can see the scratches are already gone. They're toast just that quick all right so i'm gonna put you back on the tripod and let you see me finish this uh here we go uh get in there there we go okay so now i'm not going to add any more polish to the pad because there was plenty of polish on there to begin with all i'm gonna do 
hit it with some detail spray. That's all I'm gonna do, hit it with some detail spray. And then I'm gonna work this top ridge up here. Here I go. Now, look at that. Look how much polish came out of a brand new pad and you saw how much polish I put on her to begin with. That's why you don't make the mistake of using too much polish because a little polish goes a long way. A bottle of this stuff should last you quite a bit. Here I go again. Wipe that off. And my friends, it looks like we just put a new paint job on this spot. I would bring you all in, but I know y'all know the scratches are gone and the paint looks perfect. So now, what I'm going to do, because this particular polish uses up, a, or I should say it beats up the paint pretty bad. You could see it if uh, if I was to get in a whole bunch of light and do that. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish the process where I'm going to step to a white pad and I'm going to use some Adams Fine Machine Polish. Okay. So this is a brand new pad. So I've got to prime it too. I'm going to put my polish on the pad. Ain't going to take a lot. This is all I'm going to use. All right. I'm going to mist it with some detail spray because I'm working outdoors and outside, humidity, sunlight, all that stuff affects how your polish acts. So I'm helping to keep it lucid by putting a little detail spray on it. So now I'm going to prime this pad. And by doing that, I've spread the polish all around the pad. And that's the reason I primed the pad because you want to get the pad set up to work. So you get polish spread all around the pad by doing what I just did there. Spread it around, pulse the trigger a couple of times, get it good and spread around. Now I'm actually ready to work the spot. Here I go. wipe that off. And now we're going to let Big Dave from Horse Cave step on in here. Take a look at this and see if you see any of that scratch left. Go ahead and take a look at that Big Dave. He's going to step in and inspect the junk man's work. Looks pretty good, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Big Dave, he's crazy, ain't he? <laughs> All right. All right, so that's pretty much it, boys and girls. Uh, uh, you know the scratch is gone, because y'all know how I roll. Y'all know I get the job done. And uh, again, uh, it's that simple, but uh, try not practice on anything uh, over two hundred thousand dollars, okay? You know, stick to around two thousand, okay? Drop a couple of zeros, and uh, you too can fix your scratches. Pretty much just as simple as that, okay? All right, this is the Junk Man shining out.